Meanwhile, KISD is back in session, but for the next few weeks, students are logging onto their classes instead of attending them in person. Six News reporter Cole Johnson shows us how some families are handling the switch. Back to school looked different today as KISD went virtual, and those first day jitters were felt by some of the families in the district. I was a little nervous uh, over the weekend after going through the whole seesaw. I've never used Zoom before. As of 1130 Monday, 39,000 of the more than 46,000 KISD students worked live online with their teachers. The district said it was a good day for KISD. For some, like Crystal Washington's grandson who started pre-K, it was no problem. We actually enjoyed it. We prefer to use our own um, technology. That way, we know how it works. But for others, it changed their perspective about keeping their kids virtual once the district opens up to in-person on September 8th. I was gung-ho about the virtual world and we will be homeschooling and all those. Um, now, today, I am not feeling the same. Alicia Brown's sixth grader couldn't get his app to work to get to his assignments, and her second grader was having issues with things loading. She eventually called it quits and decided to try again tomorrow. She thinks it may be better for the district to just wait for in-person classes to start up again and avoid the extra stress. Are they really missing anything? What are we really learning within these two weeks that we're you know, going to be at home? Over at KISD, the district fielded an influx of calls from families, not necessarily all related to tech issues. So everything that comes in the first day of school where people may walk up and talk about this or to, uh, meet the teacher event happened in the form of a phone call. Tyena Maya with KISD says if the campus lines are busy, the okay. calls were added to their queue. We don't deny that there was going to be some type of issues the very first day of school. She says this is brand new for everyone. The district is going to be there for its families, but it's going to be a process. Reporting in Colleen, Cole Johnson, 6 News. At the last check, Taina Maya says there were about 217 families without a device, but she did not have final numbers for us tonight. She says the district is meeting tomorrow to evaluate the total number of student engagements. Students are still able to engage until 1159 tonight, so if they stay up late, Maya says they are still handing out technology at campuses after leveling out some devices from other campuses. Leslie?